We came back to school and just like I promised to Hisa, I'll come to cheer the team on. They have a volleyball competition and so has my mom. Interesting, I don't really know why she came here. In fact, she's doing a lot more cheering than I am. It's incredibly <laughs> embarrassing. Our school team starts out, out, out strong, winning games after games. At the center of each victory is Hisa, the club ace. As considered as it sounds, I can't help but feel at least partially responsible. <laughs> After all, we spent all summer training together. And thanks to my expert, Tortelage, they make it all the way to the semi-final. The match is electric and everyone in the stand goes absolutely wow with each point that scored. Can I have a theory of my own right now? Maybe someone in the team, <laughs> if this is like a boy and girl uh, mixed competition, maybe someone in the team would have a leg injury or something and ha I have to replace them and play together. I think that's, that's how it goes if, like I said, the volleyball team consists of boy and girls, okay? But despite their best effort, his team does not come out victorious. We stay to watch the rest of the tournament regardless. And once it's over, I sneak away from my mom to look for Hisa. Alright, I see that the theory doesn't apply here, I'm sorry. What am I doing sneaking to find Hisa <laughs> and sneaking away? I have no luck finding her anywhere in the gym. And her teammates say she's not in the locker room, so I decide to search elsewhere. I step out of the gym and into the hallway. Through the crowd of people, Exceeding, I spot Hisa. She's already changed out of her uniform and is leaning against the wall. Hey Hisa, she perks up the sound of my voice but I'm not met with the usual high energy that I've come to expect from her. Oh, hey Mike, you did great out there. It was a serious impressive showing. Hisa offers me a reserved smile. Thanks, I just wish we could have done better. She raised her hand to cover her face, head shaking. I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> huh? That's not the reaction I was expected. Embarrassed? What's there to be embarrassed about? You were probably the best player on the court today. Hisa giggled. That's so nice of you to say that, Mike. But it's not so much as that we lost. I'm more embarrassed that I lost after making the bet with you. Bet? Hisa lets out a snicker as she prods my chest. Don't tell me you forgot already. Oh, that's right. She looks down at the ground and her voice is uncharacteristically quiet. I was really hoping we would get to go on that date <laughs> oh personally i also forgot about the date wow man she's really beating herself up about that she did give it her all out there you know and i just realized that um when she said that asami didn't um get mad about it that is really odd you know all right let's continue nah <laughs> that was, that's too bad I'm not gonna take her to the date, spending 26 gems <laughs> and in the end I will get um, scolded by Asami that is really bad. You have rough luck this time but hey, maybe sometimes in the future we can plan a date that doesn't hinge on a bet, huh? I chuckle quietly and brought Hisa until she joins in on the laughter. Yeah, maybe. Shortly after my mom finds the two of us and start to talk Hisa's ear off about her performance. To save her from the torment, I pull my mom away and we return home for the night. Almost immediately after getting back to my house, my phone starts to go off. As I expected, it's Assam, right? Let me see what Asami has in store for me. I hit accept. Oh, whoa, 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 very nice. I mean, the, 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 the interface uh, on this smartphone and all this is really nice. I hit accept and my screen opens up to her standing in a very lavish looking kitchen. Hey, honey bear, stop calling me that. It's really cringe. Ah, that name. You're still using that name? You're crazy. Do you really have to? There isn't even anyone around here to s hear you say it. True. But it started to grow on me. Okay, it's really weird, okay? Cringe. I think I'm going to use it more often. Oh no. Anyway, do you want to come over? I make a special dinner just for you. Alright, sure. I, I see you're being pretty nice right now. She wants to make something for me? That doesn't sound like Asami. What has gotten into her all of a sudden? Looking at the spread layout in front of her, it looks as though she's massively overprepared. Just for me, huh? It looks like you have got enough raw material to supply a banquet. 
really? Sesame pops. Then I make enough. <laughs> then I will make enough for your whole family. I'm sure they would love to the chance to spend some time with me. Do you want to come over and do some taste tests for me? Sure, actually I would do it since you are being really nice, okay? And if does that doesn't require me gems. <laughs> okay? Asami wrinkles her nose. I'm not going to poison you. I really just want to try doing something for you. Asami puts on a sweet smile in an attempt to entice me. <laughs> really? She actually took the time to do this for me? You see? Oh hey, hey, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, uh, oh my god. Now you know why. <laughs> oh god. Uh, sorry man. Sorry everyone. Okay, reject her effort. I don't know Asami. I'm pretty tired after today. Asami scoff. Sorry. <laughs> it's not my fault. It's not my fault. You're just being lazy aren't you? you your loving girlfriend makes food especially for you and you can't be bothered. Fine. I'll bring it to you. Whoa, okay, okay. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> Once it's all laid out, there looks to be enough food to feed a family for a whole week. And surprisingly, it all look pretty good. My parents sit down happily to have the food made for them. My mom is especially ecstatic to get a knife night off from cooking. Look at all of these. I haven't had some of these dishes since we have left Japan. Me either. American food is fine, I guess. But nothing beats food from home. Asami smiles brightly. <laughs> oh, Asami is at house also? I'm glad that you are so pleased, Mr. and Mr. Mrs. and uh, Mr. and Mrs. Watanabe. I want to thank you both properly for letting me spend so much time with Mike. Even after all this time, Asami still puts on her good girl act for my parents. Okay, interesting. Like, don't know what has gotten into her. But I kinda like the way she is right now. I wonder if she'll ever stop. Imagine if we got married and she steals <laughs> the thought alone makes my cheeks start to heat up. So I quickly drop the line of thinking. While we eat, everyone seems to get along nicely. Asami and my mom hit it off exceptionally well. Okay, once we're all done, Asami and I stay behind to clean up. Mom went to bed early and dad went to his study to do some paperwork. We are washing the dishes together in relative silence when Asami looked at my way with a slight smile. Your family seems really happy to be back, don't they? I not. <laughs> I am too. Yeah, so am I honestly. I don't feel like there was much for me in America because you didn't have any friends. Asami sneakers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very funny. Not entirely wrong though. Well, good thing you have this contract, huh? Stop bringing up the contract, it's really <laughs> weird. You're welcome, I roll my eyes. Seriously though, it's nice to be back here. We're all trying our best to make sure it stays that way. For my mom's sake. For my mom's sake, at the very least. What do you mean? I was pretty young at the time, so I was not sure what exactly the deal was. But according to my dad, my mom had to give up a few things for us to move to America. And dad doesn't want his work to have that kind of impact on her again. Neither do I. So that's why I'm putting up with you. <laughs> I flash a grin and nudge Asami shoulder jokingly. She rolls her eye, suppressing a grin <laughs> of her own. You are a joke. Your mom does seem nice though. To be honest, I'm a little jealous. Jealous? Asami remains silent. I guess she must not have a very good relationship with her mom. That's sad, but not entirely surprising. After all, who does Asami get along with? Once the dishes are done and put away, Asami and I go to the living room to watch a movie together. She is the one to chose the movie, claiming she has the right since she made dinner, entirely ignoring the fact that she did it of her own accord. Okay, sure. I don't want to argue. And she was the one to offer the food in the first place. So, yeah, she is the winner right now. <laughs> Watching a lame romantic comedy is a lot better than listening to her complain. Although every romance scene inspired her to tease me with some kind of remarks or innuendo. The longer we watch, the closer she cuddles up against me, okay? And that's when I realized I've gotten used to this. Why does this feel so normal now? It feels like Asami is an actual <laughs> girl, 
bro, okay? I'm not gonna read that since it doesn't appear there. My phone starts to ring, shaking me from my thoughts. You didn't silence your phone? She let out a scoff. This is so rude. What? It's not like we are at the theater or something. I'm about to ignore but then I see the call it's from Emiko. Isn't she at work tonight? It's weird to for her to call me, especially while she's at work. I don't think I've ever received anything but a text from her. And she sounds terrified when I call her. One second. I hit the answer button. Hello? Hey Mike. Yeah. Who is this? She sounds a little bit panicked. This is Miku from work. Can you get down here right away? Emiko just passed out. What? I'll be right there. I hang up the phone and leap from the couch, startling Asami. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know what happened, okay? What's going on? I gotta go, Asami. Sorry. Why things does always have to happen like this, you know? I get my jacket and my shoes and rush out to the door, my mind racing as I sprint down the street. Please be okay. Okay, Emiko passed out what had happened. 